Hey, what's up you guys? What is going on? And welcome back to another Rugby Player Reacts. Not to the NFL, but hopefully one day it will be. Today's video is Rugby Player Reacts to the Pro Kick graduates of 2020. Today's date is um, May 23rd. And for the last two weeks, it must be signing season for Pro Kick and for um, American colleges because, you know, simply put, it seems like every day or every second day, Pro Kick announces that another one of their athletes who's gone through the program, been in talks with colleges for months, put in the work for months and months, and finally signed on the dotted line, achieved the major goal or the first step of the major goal, which is to secure a spot at a Div 1 NCAA college football program as a kicker or a punter or both. And so, you know, being that I have some form of an association with Pro Kick, um, you know, I've gone down for two assessments in the past and actually more so in the last six months than, than ever before, but I've definitely received probably about one or two messages a month from athletes, from Australian athletes usually, who are looking at, at training with Pro Kick. You know, they've, they've seen the journey that is possible I've most probably seen guys like Mitch Wisnowski and <laughs> Michael Dixon who've come through the program and who are, you know, at the moment very successful in their venture. So guys will, you know, send me through a quick message and just ask what the assessment was like, what kind of things they're looking for, how I thought it went, why I'm not doing it anymore, and questions like that. So I've got absolutely no problem with getting back to, to each and every one of you who send me through a message and I want to say thank you. Thank you for that. But here I am. You know, my first assessment with Pro Kick was in September of 2018. Unfortunately, at that point, I couldn't commit. Life goes on. Basically, a year later, August 2019, this is last year, I went down again. I was so close to, to beginning training, but I was put in a really compromised position when I was down there because I had trained with a team called Monash Warriors. And, uh, you know, I was all ready to play literally the first game of the season after training for three weeks. First game of the season was on Sunday, right? On Thursday, I was still in negotiations with Pro Kick. I was messaging John from Pro Kick, John Smith. Absolute legend of a man. But once again, you know, and I, I kick myself every single day for doing this, but I, I simply had to. John offered me another spot straight up on the Pro Kick Academy. He said, right, come down to training on Friday. We'll see you there. This was the Thursday. I was meant to be training. I was meant to be playing the game on the Sunday. Pro Kick had told me earlier that they don't train athletes that are playing sports for another team at the same time because of the risk of injury, which is absolutely understandable. I completely understand that, but it's not something I really factored in. So I'd gone. I was all ready to play this game, and basically John told me, "Look, if you go and play that game, we're not going to be able to train you, but." As well as that, if you go and play one game of senior football, that is going to reduce your eligibility for the NCAA from four years to three years. So that's going to be a really big decision that you've got to make, Jacob. And guys, basically what happened at that point, I said, right, you know what? I cannot choose right now. I have my two children in Alice Springs. I don't have a lot of money behind me. I've still got things to do in life. I cannot commit right now. I just cannot commit. I wanted to say, right, Monash Warriors, I'm not playing for you guys anymore. I'm sorry, but I am committing to Pro Kick. I was so close to doing that. Every single day that's gone by since that day, I've regretted it. But at the end of the day, I couldn't have done it because I couldn't afford it at the time. Now, another year on, every single obstacle that was ever in my way, I've sorted. It took nearly two years, guys. Like I said, September 2018. I would have dropped everything and gone and trained with them at that moment, but I simply couldn't. That's what life is like. But when you've got something that you think about every single day and it doesn't go away, you're either going to regret not doing it for the rest of your days or you're going to find a way to do it. So with that being said, that is my journey with Pro Kick so far. And I would, you know, I, I'd, I'd love to say it's not over, but you never know. Anyway, the main reason why I actually found Pro Kick originally is because I looked up on my journey into the world of American football what Australians or New Zealanders were playing in the league. Now at that point, I think that was like June of 2018. And it was between the draft and the start of the regular season. And in that time, a guy called Michael Dixon had got drafted. So I looked up his story, loved it, looked up Pro Kick, made contact with them, and the rest is history. But basically, guys, from there, Michael Dixon went on to have a stellar season and another one. 
So they call him Big Balls Dixon in Seattle at the moment. And I'd have to say he does have big balls, especially, especially when he got that fourth down conversion. You know the one. So Michael Dixon was a lot of fun to watch throughout 2018. Mitch Wisnowski came into it 2019. Hell of a lot of fun to watch. I back any New Zealander or Australian that enters the league. I back any New Zealander or Australian that enters college football. I back anyone from our two countries that wants to back their ability, believe in themselves, and try something new. I've got to say, you're a fucking legend. Anyways guys, today's video we're going to look at all the legends that have graduated from Pro Kick. And we're going to look at what schools they're going to go to. This is something I haven't done specifically. All I've done is see the, the posts come up on a daily basis from Pro Kick, or it seems like a daily basis. And, um, you know, we're going to count the athletes and we're going to look at all the schools that Pro Kick have, have managed to secure scholarships for. And it's going to be really fun. So I'm going to open this, this can of oh, epicness. And I'll get Instagram up. And we'll have a quick look. Ah. Oh, lovely. I swear I like your style. Put you in Chanel because it's just perfect for your smile. Girl, I swear for you, I run the world, I run the mile. The way you look at me, I think I'm going insane. Um, alright, let's get the screen recorder going. We go to Instagram, and then we go to two accounts. We're going to go to ProKick, which is the account of Nathan Chapman, the head coach. Then we're going to go to Johnny PKA, which is John Smith, the assistant coach, or the other head coach, who focuses on the academic side of things. Because at the end of the day, the journey with ProKick is not all about playing in front of 50,000 people every week. In fact, a lot of these scholarships go to schools that may have a 5,000 seat capacity stadium or a 10,000 seat capacity stadium. So what is focused on is maturity of the students, preparing them for life at an American college, but also, you know, making sure that the education is fundamental to their journey. The education, getting the degree and getting a good grade. You know what I mean? So that's what it's all about. Anyway, let's go. Okay, so we'll scroll down, and as we can see, we've got uh, a few pretty exciting uh, photos here. In fact, in fact, when was this one? That was eight weeks ago. Okay, so where would the first one have been? What was this? Some pro kick, uh, some pro kick. No? Is this the first one? This is the first one. Okay, here we go. Boom! Ohio State, too. I did see this one, but I couldn't remember. Pretty pumped to say, and this is two weeks ago, guys, pretty pumped to say, we have a student just commit to Ohio State. His name is <laughs> Micro. <laughs> Jesse Mirko. Well done, Micro. And these coaches, they usually have certain nicknames for players and basically just having a great time. And that's why I absolutely loved it, guys. And I, I kick myself every day that I'm not down there training with the boys because it was so much fun. It was so much fun. Okay, so Jesse Mirko for Ohio State. And there he is there. And I'm following him. Fremantle boy from Melbourne to the Ohio State. Now, I hope these boys don't mind me looking at their journey, but, you know, Instagram is a public place, so... Ah, uh, what do we got here? What's this? 287 weeks ago, holy shit, it's like five years ago. Playing a bit of AFL. And again, about five years ago, still playing AFL. He's in Beverly Hills, he's, he's hit the States. And this is 34 weeks ago. So that may well have been his trip over to check out some uh, universities. What do we got here? Denver, Colorado. At a... Well, he's at the Pepsi Center. So he's gone to the States, loved it, Massachusetts, Milwaukee, a Bucks game, and so on and so forth. So 13 weeks ago, February 16th was his last update, and here we are. Here we are two weeks ago with an, an Ohio State logo and a caption that reads, Absolutely honored to announce I have committed and accepted a full scholarship to study and play football for the Ohio State University in 2021. 
Massive thank you to Nathan Chapman and John Smith for helping make this happen. You are truly the best in the business. Also a, also a huge thanks to Dave Tui Navai of CQ Athletic Performance for all his work. To Coach Barnes and Coach Day, I can't thank you enough for the opportunity to follow in the footsteps of fellow Aussie Cam Johnson and current punter D. Chrisman 91. Can't wait to get to work. Now if that doesn't excite you guys and put a smile on your face, I don't know what will. Good luck, Jesse. Right, let's go back. That was number one. Jesse Mirko to Ohio State, or the Ohio State. And I love the Ohio State, so good luck, buddy. Next one, a week ago, we've got a post here. Pro Kicks said, crazy how things play out. Congrats to Mason. His father, Dustin, and I were in the same draft year and both debuted in the AFL in 1993. So Nathan Chapman, the head coach of Pro Kick, played Australian football, which is Aussie rules. It's called Aussie rules in Australia. It's not played in any other country. Um, and it, it uses predominantly punting of the ball. So that's why a lot of these boys who are going through the college system from Australia are ex-AFL players. Whereas a rugby player, you know, that the, I guess, uh, you know, not every player on the field has to kick. And so generally the, the kicking skills are more so in the back line rather than the forwards. But on an AFL field, it doesn't matter where you play, you still have to kick the ball. That's how you distribute it throughout the team and up the field. So this guy's dad played with Nathan in the AFL and he says Dustin, Dustin his dad went on to play 7,000 games for the great Essendon FC. <laughs> it was probably about 250. I on the other hand wa wandered aimlessly through a few years of footy yet here we are both excited for the journey his son Mason is about to embark on. Go Bearcats is a great, oh, Bearcats football is a great play to Great place to play football and live. You need to work on your spelling there, mate. You're confusing me. Anyway, okay, so Mason Fletcher is his name. Do we have a tag? No, oh, he's put it on Facebook. Mason Fletcher, excited to announce I've accepted a full scholarship to study and play football at the University of Cincinnati. Can't wait to get started as a beer cat. And look at that edit, man. That's a fucking sick edit, isn't it? Okay, so Mason Fletcher to the University of Cincinnati. Good luck, Mason. Uh, who's next? David Shanahan. Extremely excited to announce that I have been offered, accepted, and committed to a full scholarship to play football and study. Dot dot dot. Where's he studying? Pro kick. This lad, David Shanahan, moved from Ireland. Actually, I remember reading this. Moved from Ireland just to train with Pro Kick Australia, and now he has to move to the USA to live out a dream of being a punter with GT, which is George, Georgia Tech. By being in Atlanta, he will be closer to home than he is here, but that's still some serious frequent flyer miles for the rents. Nice work, Irish. Nice work. How fucking cool, man. This guy's like 20 years old. He sees Pro Kick, he decides, right, that's the journey I want to go on. He goes and does it, he makes it happen, and here we go, he's committed to Georgia Tech, which is a big school. Let's check his page out. Give him a follow. Old Irish. Um, what have we got here? Georgia Tech Football Commit. God, I'd like to... <laughs> oh, you know, I'm pretty jealous, but I am extremely happy for this guy. Extremely happy. So we've got some rugby here, it looks like, and that's about three years ago. Three years ago, he's playing some rugby. There he is on the right, so he might have, might have a bit of height about him, actually. Um... I haven't had a lot of updates, have you? That's 41 weeks ago. I'd say he would have been training with Pro Kick at that point. What do we got here? Old Man Foley. I thought, I thought I recognised that guy. That he must be a, he must be an AFL player on the left. Anyway, here we are, six days ago, guys. Seven days ago, sorry. With the original post. Extremely excited to announce that I've been offered, accepted, and committed to a full scholarship to play football and study at Georgia Tech. Thank you to Coach Collins, Coach Connor, Coach Popovich, Coach Popovich and Patrick Soods for this amazing opportunity. A massive thank you to Johnny, PKA, John Smith, and Nathan Chapman of Pro Kick Australia for all their hard work and dedication to make this all possible. I am so grateful for everything you've done for me. Also, thanks to Dave. 
to Inavai of CQ Athletic Performance for all his work. Finally, to my family and friends, especially my mum and dad, I cannot thank you enough for always supporting me. Can't wait to get to the ATL and get to work. Bruh. Good luck. That's all I can say. Good fucking luck. So, David Shanahan, he's not Australian, he's, he's Irish, but he's gone through Pro Kick in Melbourne and received a full ride scholarship. Nice work. All right, on to the next. Boom! This one's interesting. I'm gonna be making a separate video on James Evans. I don't know anything about him, but sitting here in Christchurch, New Zealand, about two weeks ago, there was a news story on the news, six o'clock news, about a kid from New Zealand who decided to dream big, uh, went to Pro Kick, and has now committed to Indiana University. And he's from Auckland, New Zealand. So I don't know the full story, but I do want to get my head around it due to the fact he is from New Zealand, and a lot of these guys are from Australia. Um, there's another New Zealander that's just committed to a school too, but he decided to go the other route and go to a JUCO rather than, you know, train with Pro Kick and do what these guys have done and use Pro Kick for their connections, etc., to get them the spot. This other guy decided to do it on his own, and I've actually got him to send me a little uh, piece of writing to explain his journey, so I'm really excited to bring that video to you guys. But first, James Evans, yet another one. Well done, James. Wow, this is a fantastic place to study and play ball. Make the most of it, big fella. You shall do New Zealand and Jacinda Ardern, our Prime Minister, proud. Thank you for trusting us with your future. God, that makes me happy. James Evans, hugely excited. Let's have a look at his page. Uh, following, yes. Auckland, Melbourne, Indiana. What a journey. He's got two posts. I'm hoping you're going to sort that out. Content is king, bro. Content is king. Content, content, content. If you're over in America as a New Zealander, bro, you could have half the country following your journey if you really wanted it. So exciting. Anyways, uh, let's read your post, my friend. And we just saw our old mate, Kiwi Kicker, in the comments section. Let's see what he wrote. Hugely excited to announce my commitment to play football and study on a full scholarship at Indiana University. Thank you to Coach T. Garden, Coach McKinney, 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 and Coach Allen for providing me with this amazing opportunity. Massive thank you to John Smith and Nathan Chapman of Pro Kick Australia for providing me with this opportunity and taking a chance on a kid from New Zealand. My family and I are eternally grateful. Also, a huge thank you to Dave Tui Nuevai of Conquest Athletic Performance for, for preparing me both physically and mentally for the challenges ahead. Finally, to all my family and friends, especially my parents, thank you for your constant love and support. Can't wait to be a hooser. Can't wait to be a hoosier. A hooser? Come January and follow in the footsteps of the great Hayden Whitehead. Okay, so we've got a few comments here. And Kiwi Kicker chimes in. I'm going to like his comment. Congrats, mate. Legend. Looking forward to following your journey. And to be honest, you know, as both being New Zealanders, Kiwi Kicker and I, uh, he is a legend in our country. Straight up. So well done, James. Well done. Next up the block, Andrew Stokes. What have we got here? Happy for this young bull. Stokesy, also known as Andrew Stokes, will spend some time in Florida working on a degree, kicking a ball with white stripes on either end. They'd only go halfway around. Well, that's college football. The big lad will take over after their current legend, Trent Schneider who's a Perth lad too. Gee, Perth has some talent, don't they? Seems they do. Let's have a look at Stokesy. Andrew Stokes. Well, I'll give you a follow. And he looks as if he is about six foot four. He looks pretty fucking tall, actually. Are they your kids? Let's see the reply. These ones are just my nephews. Unfortunately, I've never met my kids. Laughing face. <laughs> uh, how long ago is that? Four weeks. All right. Once again, I hope these guys don't mind me looking through their journey, but uh, we've got him down supporting his local AFL team about 44 weeks ago. So that's, yeah, halfway through last year. Um, we've got a work snap about a year ago. Anything to do with American football? What is, what's this? Well, 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 we've got an action shot. He's, uh, he's mossing someone, as they say, and that was two years ago. 
So two years ago, playing AFL, wow we no regrets. <laughs> um, was that a Halloween costume or something? Okay, two years ago playing AFL, here's about Pro Kick, starts training with them. I can't see any posts in America unless this one is. For some reason that looks as if it's in America, but I couldn't be sure. And we've got a pickup game of AFL here it seems, around Christmas time. And then lo and behold, two days ago, he posts a very cryptic logo that a lot of his followers probably have never seen in their lives. Super excited to announce that I have accepted a full scholarship to study and play football at the University of South Florida. Thank you to Coach Jeff Scott, Coach DePrato, and Coach Gilchrist for giving me this amazing opportunity to follow in the footsteps of current Aussie punter Trent Schneider. Massive thank you to Johnny and Nathan of Pro Kick Australia for all their hard work and countless amounts of hours they put in. Huge thank you to Dave. <laughs> I'll get this name eventually. Tui Navai uh, from CQ Athletic Performance for preparing me for this journey. Lastly, thank you to my family and friends for all their support. Cannot wait to get started. Go Bulls. And the Bulls are the University of South Florida. Well, if you see Leonard Fournette, bro, just say hi for me, right? Um, right. What do we got now? What's that, five? Ohio State, Cincinnati, Georgia Tech, Indiana, South Florida, and finally, last but not least, but it's probably not the last one because they'll continue to sign these guys over the coming weeks, but this one is a guy called Joshua, and he's going to Texas. Josh T. Sloan. Extremely excited to announce that I've committed and accepted a blue shirt scholarship to study and play football at the University of Texas, El Paso. Thank you to Coach Dimmel and Coach Robinson for giving me this opportunity, and I'm sure he's going to say thank you to Coach John and Nathan. And also, of course, you can't forget the strength and conditioning coach. So there we go, the University of Texas. That is number six. I've been doing some good work down there at Pro Kick, man, I've got to say. Next, we're going to look up Johnny, aka The Baron who's a UK man now. Now for whatever reason, it looks as if Johnny has put up a fair few more posts. So we're gonna check them all out here. We're gonna go back about a month and see what we can find out. So that's six weeks ago. Johnny Boy puts up a, a new highlight clip of, of one of his athletes kicking basically every single day. And every time I see it, I press like, and I think, fuck, I wish that was me right now. What have we got here? Evolution. What have we got here? What a man. Right. He's usually all about cryptic stuff. Really cryptic posts that will have something to do with the athlete that's committing the next day. And the first one that I noticed, and I don't think this is to do with an athlete, but it was this one. And it was a New Zealand flag. And I've liked the comment because Johnny said, Pro Kick New Zealand. And apparently there's going to be a Pro Kick New Zealand, so that's pretty interesting. But anyway, let's have a look. I think the first one looks as if it is this one here. And that is a story about two football punters that are already playing, so we can't... Well, that's a fucking cool story. They grew up best friends in Australia. Now they're two of the Southland Conference's best punters. Can you imagine that? Two guys growing up in Australia, playing Aussie rules together throughout school, best mates, and they both go on this journey, and they both land scholarships, and they're both playing in the same conference? And they can both catch up and get that photo in the stadium after the game. You know what I mean? You know that photo? The classic photo you've got to get. What absolute legends. What absolute legends. All right, so this is the first one. Jesse Mirko that goes to Ohio State. We've seen that. What's old Chappie up to? Just looking jolly. Um, what is this? Sharks punt pays off. Any explanation? Let's have a look what that is. Shark, shark's punt pays off pro kick. No, I don't think we're going to be able to find that one, so uh, let's continue. Who's this? He's asleep. We've got the male graduate scholar athlete of the year from WKU. Something, something, university. Where's our first graduate, Johnny? Ah, see? See? He's put up a cryptic post before that Irish fella got signed. 
and it was an Irish flag. Photo of Cincinnati. He's not giving a lot away, is he? This looks like the first post that he's actually given us a name. Vassett, Michigan State. Mark Vassett, let's have a look. I'll give you a follow. He's committed to Michigan State. Oh, bruh, let's have a look. Is he playing AFL uh, two years ago? And here you are with Pro Kick about four months ago. He must be training out of Melbourne because I don't know who that coach is. And here we are, two weeks ago, we've got a post from Mark saying, I'm extremely blessed to announce that I've accepted a full athletic scholarship from the Michigan State University. Thank you to Coach Owls and Coach Tucker for offering me this amazing opportunity. I'm beyond, beyond proud to be a Spartan and cannot wait to get started. Thank you to Coach Nathan Chapman and Johnny. Sorry. Without you guys, this would not be possible and I can't thank you both enough. Also, thank you to Dave, Dave T from CQ Athletic Performance for preparing me both physically and mentally for college football. Lastly, thanks to my friends and family for their support throughout this life-changing decision. I hope I can make you all proud. MSU Football. And I've just seen his stats here. He's six foot four. The big guy. With a big leg. And he's going to Michigan State. Well done, mate. Well done. Now, Johnny, if I could just bring you back there. Um, what's this one? I really wish you would say what you meant, Johnny boy. Uh, here's his post about James. Came from Auckland, New Zealand to train with us. Now going to Indiana University in 2021. Great work, James. Thanks for putting your trust in us. Great work, James. Um, does this mean Alex has signed with the Seminoles? Or did he do that last year? He's got a private account. I'm not going to be able to find out. But that's fine. Okay, so we've seen this one. This is uh, the South University of South Florida. And what's this one? UAB. Now I have no idea what that means. He's he's clearly already in his helmet, so he must be he must be an ex student. So we won't go there. But we do have two new ones here that I'm excited to bring you, which are Josh Sloan, who played professional AFL, it looks like, for Carlton. Extremely excited to announce. Actually, let's go on his page. Cheers, Johnny. Extremely excited to announce that I've committed and accepted a blue shirt scholarship to study and play football at the University of Texas, El Paso. Actually, we saw that, didn't we? Blue shirt, that's... And I want to know what a blue shirt scholarship means. What does it mean to be a blue shirt recruit? The first red shirt college athlete was a Nebraska football player named Warren Afson. In the late 1930s, he practiced but didn't play for the Cornhuskers for one season in a red jersey without numbers. He was the first and probably the last college athlete to actually wear a red shirt due to not playing. Today, Collegiate Athletics has expanded its recruiting wardrobe to include a red shirt variation, grey shirts, green shirts, and blue shirts. We can quickly define what all the colour terms really mean, including blue shirt, and why they are becoming more fashionable with college coaches. Okay, blue shirt. Blue shirting is becoming a more popular, but hardly common, way to creatively manage the number of athletic scholarships. Blue shirt rules allowed for unrecruited players to be awarded a scholarship at the start of freshman practice. This allows a team that may have too many commits to essentially borrow against their next year's scholarship total. The rules are rather strict in regard to what is defined as being unrecruited. That means there was no official visit taken by the athlete, the coach doesn't, didn't visit the athlete at home, there was no national letter of intent signed, and no form of athletic aid. Given those recruiting restrictions, it is still a pretty rare occurrence for a student athlete to be considered for a blue shirt scholarship offer. Okay. So, I guess due to his ability, due to his obvious ability, he's been able to secure one of their 2021 scholarships without actually meeting them, or something along those lines. Josh, well done mate, and good luck. I've got one more post to look at guys, and this is basically the reason why I started this video. And that is because just today, Johnny's put up another post, 50 minutes ago, and I've already commented, saying go hard. Nick. Habera committed from Australia to, is that Washington? Something with a W, let's have a look. Here we go, three minutes ago guys. Fucking hell, this is fresh news. 
WSU Cougars football. Who is that? Washington State University. Melbourne's Nick Habera, a product of prominent Australian punting program, commits to Washington State. Oh, we'll read this. When Nick Rolovich fired off his latest bat signal at 6.40 Friday morning, announcing Washington State had secured its seventh commitment in the 2021 recruiting class, it begged the obvious question. Who would be on a recruiting call with Rolovich making a decision about their college future at such an early hour? By Friday afternoon, WSU fans had their answer. It was 11.40pm in Melbourne, Australia when punter Nick Habera informed Rolovich and the Washington State staff he decided to join the Cougars, becoming the third player to pledge in as many days and the fourth this week. And here is his Twitter page, so we'll open that. Habera made a social media announcement at 4pm Pacific and 9am on Saturday in his hometown of Melbourne, thanking Rolovich and special teams coordinator Mike Gobriel, along with John Smith and Nathan Chapman, who trained Habera at the renowned ProKick Australia facility. By offering him a full ride scholarship, the Cougars are presuming the Australian will take over in 2021 for all Pac-12 punter Oscar D. the third, who's entering his senior season this fall. Dragovic the third is the only listed punter on WSU's roster, although redshirt junior walk-on Johan Zetterberg has split punting and kicking duties during his three seasons with the Cougars. There isn't much information available on Habera, other than other than that, he has a background in rugby and has spent years working with coaches at ProKick Australia, a program that has provided 75 scholarship punters and kickers, 17 college All-Americans and 5 Ray Guy award winners. Notable PKA products who won college football's most prestigious punting award include former Texas punter Michael Dixon, now with the Seattle Seahawks, and former Utah punter Mitch Wisnowski, now with the San Francisco 49ers. According to a recent article in The Athletic, ProKick Australia estimates it has between 60 to 70 prospects on college rosters at the moment. Rolovich's starting punter at the University of Hawaii, Stan Godian, is also a Melbourne native who trained with the PKA program. So Nick, well done. Once again, that is absolutely incredible. Um, we're just going to read your post here. Beyond excited to announce that I've accepted a full scholarship to play football and study at Washington State University. Thank you to all those involved who made this possible. And he's tagged all of the coaches that we've heard from, from all of the other athletes. Wow. So guys, that was my reaction to Pro Kicks 2020 graduate class. And I want to say a huge, huge, massive, as big as you can imagine, good fucking luck. Good luck, fellas. Go hard. Make your country proud, whether that be Ireland, Australia, or New Zealand. And just know, guys, that if you do happen to make the 6 o'clock news, or you do happen to make the Bleacher Report, or you do happen to make ESPN, or anything like that, I'm going to grab that story and run it again on my channel. So guys, you've got all the support from me in the world. You've got all the support from your own countries. You've put in the work. You deserve it. Now go and win that Ray Guy Award. Take care, guys. Have a fantastic day. And good luck to ProKick and all of your athletes currently training throughout the year of 2020. Good shit, guys. Incredible. ProKick, you are doing God's work for us down here.